Alright, I need to check. Check the dew point. Oh, let me see. Oh, my bo oops. My body is hurting. Alright. Hmm. All right, let's get through this. It is still Sunday. It's wash day. So since this morning, the weather has definitely changed. This morning it was nice, sunny, it was cool, but a, a warm cool. And now it is cloudy, cool, cold. The temperature has dropped. But another thing that has dropped is the dew point. Now this morning when I checked the dew point, I had a set of products in mind to wash my hair based on the dew point was 39 degrees I believe below 40 degrees dew point you want to avoid humectants and glycerin so you don't want those two ingredients to be main ingredients in any products that you use on your hair on wash day but since then and that was like at 8 in the morning when I'm I checked the weather and the dew point now that it's four o'clock, I'm checking the dew point again. And the dew point has raised, meaning there's more moisture in the air. There's a lot of moisture. This morning it was 37 to 39 degrees. And now the dew point at four o'clock. Let's, let's, let's refresh this because I want you guys to see exactly the dew point. And again, this is what you do. You check the dew point in your area where you live, where your hair is living. And I'm checking it in my area, which is Santa Monica, Santa Monica, LA. Both of them, they're not far from each other. So let's just say, but I live in Santa Monica. So the dew point at this actual time of 3.54 PM is, it is 59 degrees. And the dew point is 52 degrees. So, with a dew point like that, the type of products that I'm going to use on my hair has changed. This means with a dew point of 52 degrees is in a range that says it is optimal conditions to use products with high glycerin concentration. What this means is that the moisture in the air is enough that if you put glycerin on your hair strands, it's going to pull moisture from the climate and it's going, your hair is going to absorb that moisture, which is a good thing. Because remember, glycerin needs to stay hydrated. And if you put glycerin on your hair and there's moisture out there in the uh, climate, then it's going to pull that water from the environment climate and it's going to have your hair absorb that moisture. And remember, the number one thing when it comes to 4C hair is moisture. Keeping your hair strands moisturized and that will help with length retention. So that is what we're doing. So let me go ahead and let me show you the products that I'm going to use on my hair. Owen. Oh, this is what my hair is looking like since this morning. are the products that I'm going to use.
right, so I have finished my wash routine for this evening, and it is 11 o'clock, so yeah, I'm done. I twisted my hair into these big two-strand twist ends, and I bobby pin at the uh, top of my hair so that the two-strand twist ends stay in from the top to the bottom. And I will keep these in. Oh, and also I have a side part instead of a middle part. But, yeah. So that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm sticking to form with my wash routine. And I am going to continue to film until... Until... I grow my hair in the front to chin length. So, you will see uh, periodically my wash regimens, routines... Um, and I am showing you the products that I will be using based on the dew point. So, number one thing is I know that I have high porosity hair. That determines the type of routine or regimen I will do when it comes to uh, moisturizing my hair. And the second thing is the dew point. So, those two things combined together, you will see my hair reach the goals of being grown to chin length. Okay, so it's late. I'm done. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, make sure you post them below. Um, yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And also, please stay tuned. Okay, until later, have a good night. This is Naturally Z signing out. Peace.